Hi and welcome in today's video. Mariam here, sharing about how to live a more nourishing, energizing and prosperous life. Today, I want to share with you a technique that has changed my life a lot. A technique that I have been practicing since 2002, meaning over 18 years now. A technique that has given me tremendous amount of energy and that energy allowed me to then be able to perform better in my life, being able to exercise in a much easier, smoother and enjoyable way. A technique that has allowed me to change my appearance, a technique that has allowed me to have access to more possibilities, more of my capacities, intellectual and physical, uh, has opened up so many doors in my life that I truly believe today it's not even possible to have energy constant and optimal without applying this technique in your life. So let's share about it. The reason I want to share about this technique today is because number one, it has brought a lot of benefits in my life, but there's also dangers and risks and issues when it comes to applying this technique, especially when it is the first time or even when you grow in this technique because you apply it in your life on a daily basis. Now, I do practice this every single day. I'm become, we could say, an expert in this, although expertise can always grow more, right? So I'm not bragging about myself right now. I'm just saying when we know the challenges, when someone knows the challenges we haven't gone through yet, it's just easier to listen to them and maybe think and apply and then we understand ourselves better. So I'm sharing about the joy and also the behind the scenes of this practice, which is fasting. Okay, today I am sharing with you five rules that I believe are essential to succeed in fasting. So fasting means actually not having food for a certain amount of time. Now you may be fasting for a short term, meaning you don't have food for a few hours or a few days, or long-term fasting, which is several days or weeks without any food. Whether you're new to this, just starting, haven't started yet, tried only once or twice, or whether you are an expert in fasting, those rules I'm going to share with you can be useful to you to start off or to grow from your fasting experience. Okay, number one rule that I do want to share about fasting to succeed in your fasting experience is prepare and prepare well. I know that sometimes we want to rush the process, we are so excited to go into it that we don't actually prepare well enough and we don't actually maybe prepare at all and just decide out of the blue I'm gonna fast today or I'm gonna fast tomorrow. But the truth is if you prepare well, meaning that you actually prepare mentally and then physically, I always say non-physical work is more important than physical work actually but there you want to do both but mentally you prepare and think about what you want out of this experience and you prepare kind of like mentally how you what, how you're going to live this what is your day going to be like how is your life going to be like during this time how is your relationship with your family and friends going to be like if you prepare mentally and then physically you um take less food and you diminish the amount and the quantity of the food you're having and maybe you grow the quality of the food you're having example you have more fruits and raw food instead of having meat and high cooked or high heavy food or junk food because it's going to take longer to digest therefore when you prepare this way caring about your body and your digestion process before the fasting experience is going to make it easier for you to fast. Rule number two to succeed in fasting. Start simple. Now starting simple, especially if it's your first time, isn't going to be simple anyway. So you may as well pick the easiest way possible, meaning start with a few hours of fasting only. Instead of trying a whole week of fasting or three weeks of fasting, no, start simple. And the way to start simple is simply to just start with a few hours. Maybe you want to do 12 hours, maybe you want to do 24 hours, but don't go beyond that, especially if it's your first time. Care for your body, see how your body reacts, 
and then if everything is fine you can always add more hours or more days to your fasting experience afterwards rule number three to succeed in fasting is mind the after after fasting what is going to happen you only know but if you take care of your body again and if you make sure just like you prepared well at the beginning before starting the fasting experience end up preparing well as well and you may not think about that before you start fasting but i'm telling you if you don't prepare the after uh, a hot time is going to be there and the hot time may be going to the toilets or having a hard time digesting food again when you break your fast. So make sure you end smoothly, maybe drinking juices, having a, a light meal instead of a big meal, don't jump on the pizza straight away. Just make sure you end smoothly, okay? Make sure the meals that follow your fasting experience are light meals, at least for 48 hours. And if it's a longer fast that you did, make it a week and listen to your body and make sure your body is ready for more before you give your body more food i do share in another video that i'm going to release very soon link will be end of this one how to make sure you don't go through issues especially with your colon i'm going to share a technique that you can do if you go through issues and pain when releasing the food especially after fasting Rule number four to succeed in fasting is make it a daily practice instead of a random, temporary, time to time, sometimes practice. Now, let me explain. There's something that we call intermittent fasting, meaning that every day you spend more hours not eating than you spend time eating. Your window of non-eating time is bigger than the window of eating time. Is that even English speaking like that? Basically, you spend more time not eating than you spend time eating. And the easiest way to start in that is to skip the breakfast or at least push the breakfast away later on during the day so that you don't start your breakfast straight away, jumping out of bed, haven't even started your day yet. Okay? Now, I'm just saying that because regular work, daily work, always brings more benefits than non-daily, non-regular work. In other words, no matter how small your action is, as long as it is daily and you do it every single day of your life, it's going to bring more results in the long run than an action that isn't daily. So, fasting every single day, this is what I do. And this is now what a lot more people do, brings a lot more benefits than fasting maybe one week a month, or maybe one month a year even. Also, there are a lot of benefits in long-term fasting. I'm not going to say don't do that. But if you do fast one week a month or one month a year, for example, if you do Ramadan, add intermittent fasting if you can on your day-to-day -day basis the rest of the year. And you will experiment a lot more benefits as well. Rule number five to succeed in fasting is add more techniques and practices to your fasting experience. If you are only planning on fasting, meaning not eating food for a certain amount of time, and you don't plan on doing anything else, that is so boring. And that isn't going to work in the long term. If you only take away something that you like so much, and let's be honest, we all like eating, right? If you are only going to take away something that you like, your body likes, your mind likes, and you're not going to add anything, any value in your days that, especially during that experience, you aren't going to want to do it again. So the key is add all the practices that are nourishing to you. Nourishing meaning that you enjoy doing. Walking in nature, spending time with friends and family, be careful not to eat during that time. Watching a movie, spending time with your pets and animals, spending time in your garden, Breathing techniques, meditation, listening to super good freaking damn music. Is that even English? Dancing, exercising. So if, you, if it's your first time fasting, you may not want to exercise yet because that will be too much. But later on, as your fasting experience becomes more regular, you actually want to exercise because otherwise your body is going to become weak and you won't have that energy. Fasting should go hand in hand with exercising. And I do speak a lot more 
about this in other videos and I actually show you my life exercising in other videos as well while fasting. So add other practices and if you don't know what to add, be creative, discover something new. If you don't know meditation, maybe it's the time to learn. If you don't know how to paint, draw, make videos and you want to learn, maybe that's the time to do this. If you want to learn languages, do skateboarding, become a DJ, maybe that's the time to do it. You may as well take advantage of this time during which you're going to have more energy in the long run and grow from that. Okay, so these were my five rules to succeed in fasting. Number one, prepare well. Number two, start simple with a few hours instead of many days of fasting. Number three, mind the after. Number four, make it a daily practice as well. And number five, add all the techniques and practices in your life that are nourishing to you and will give you that energy. With that energy, you can then do anything you want. I, or shall I say, we go a lot deeper in the course on fasting called Thriving Fasting. Link is underneath this video in the description section. You can also check my website, subscribe to the channel, and till the next video, I wish you a wonderful experience in fasting and I shall catch you up soon. Bye now. Rule number three to succeed in fasting is mind the damn. <sighs> the bean, the beans. Okay, fine. Such a noisy day today. Oh, damn, come on. <laughs> Still noisy.